boom, we're back. Something like that. Howdy. Welcome to Steampunk Diesel. On today's episode, BBB is getting a facelift because uh, she needs it. So we have the stock grill. We're not using the stock grill. We got Morimoto and we got Morimoto headlights. So all oh, this is going to get switched up because, yeah, nothing here stays stock. Nobody likes seeing anything stock here. So here's what came in. Here's what's getting replaced. This is the new grill. I got the factory grill too, but I figured why not do this because it's got lights in it already. And this is what we're running. And as for headlights, here's the brand new headlights. Oh yeah, she is going to look good. Here they are in all her glory. So as y'all can tell, marker or daytime running light as far as turn signal, daytime, daytime. And we got to have projectors because, yeah, we got to make it look good. And factory, well, factory, they kind of skimp. So that's why she gets modifications. So let's get to it. Do, 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 do. Now, first things first, we got to remove this. So time to go get the clip remover because these are all clips that we got to pop off. And you can tell we got our tool to be popping clips out because we got to pop clips out. So pop this clip right here, like so. And then pop this other clip like this and this bitch will come out like so. And then you just make sure you keep these together. Don't fucking throw them away because Ford in their clips. They don't like screws here. Now we got to do the rest of these and then we'll get this off to get to the grill and then we'll get the lights and so on and so on. So check back with us here in a little bit. All right, so once you got all your clips removed right here, you just want to take these and throw them as far as you can that way. Not. So once you got all your clips removed, then you just go ahead and pull this bitch out and throw that thing to the side. We don't need that right now. Now we start with the bolts. So all these bolts right here for this grill. And then we got some bolts right here. Uh, two bolts, I believe, for the headlights. Or no. We got one down here, one down here. And then I believe it's the one behind it. So three bolts for the headlights. So we'll get to that shortly before. I know dodges are two bolts. I don't know if the Ford has three or five. We'll figure this shit out. But we're gonna now go ahead and get into this. So, so now that we got the 10 mil, we can go ahead and start on this shit. No impact today because it's all at work. Hooray, dumbass, with no impact. So we're, we're back to hand tools. Which, instead of taking 30 minutes, we're gonna take about two hours. Hand tools. So it is five volts, by the way. I just saw that. So we'll get this off and then we'll go get the grill here in a little bit, gentlemen and ladies. All right, so there we go. We got the out with the old. Here's where we're at in the process so far. Um, this would be the top for the top headlight, that amber marker, whatever that is, turn signal, and then your high beams. So, yeah, let's keep on going. We're almost there. Oh, and by the way, it was four bolts for the lights. So three, one on top, two on the side, right there, or on the inside, and one on the side, which would either be driver, driver, or passenger. So now we go into the new ones. All right, as you can tell, so now we're running the wiring. Uh, we got to come over here to the fuse box and shit, and we're going to have to... Hook up right here somewhere along this. We're gonna hook up this, running the wires. That way we can hook up the lights because they got their own ballast and all that. So once we get that installed, then we'll move on to the grill and hopefully we get done here before it goes dark. All right, we got the lights on, so we're finished wrapping it up. Now we just need the grill, but uh, just a quick demo. These bitches are bright. <laughs> At least the driving lights and all that, but now we need to do a grill. So hopefully this doesn't turn too shitty quality, um, which I'm pretty sure it will because nighttime. But yeah, let's uh, keep on going. Now we just need the grill. And uh, here's the finished product. It took us a while, but I mean we got it. It got a little bit dark too quick, so we made it work though. There's all the lights installed. 
now we just need the bottoms and then it'll be perfect all right turn it on see what you got that startup animation though you gotta love that startup animation yeah and as you can tell a whole lot better with that grill than with this grill Now to check the hazards, see if they work. Oh, one of them works. One of them does not work. Gotta love that. Ah, looks like we gotta go back to that one. Well, this is what happens when we do stuff at night. We're uh, not gonna mess with them. We'll do this during the day. All right, day two continued. Uh, as y'all can tell, we're not outside no more, but we got it up and running. Now we got both turn signals to work. We got the grill off. And as I can tell, we're in the shop, so yeah, because all our tools are here. Might as well fix them here. But now we're just cleaning up the wires. So we're gonna zip tie this, tidy them up. Here's the ones for the grill. We'll tidy those up here too. And uh, we'll put everything back together. We'll show you all the finished product. And as you can tell, here's a little Sal. I ain't doing shit. Look at that asshole. <laughs> no five feet champion, huh? Yeah, we're trouble. We're gonna we're gonna turn this place into a mess here in a little bit. Getting started. Where's the beer at? Yeah, well we got no more beer. And just like that, we got her working again. So hell yeah. Boom. Both sides, now they're even. Grill. And after two days of fucking with it. Which then again, in our defense, it was a little pin causing this turn signal not to work. One of the pins that came out of the clip, so we thought it was a wiring issue, but it was a little little pin for the connector. But with that, we're about to get this bitch on out of here and uh, park her back where she goes. Now then, y'all be safe. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Steampunk Diesel. For more shit like this, now we got a Dodge to do and a couple other projects we got to work on. But uh, y'all be safe and we'll see y'all next time.